Happy Monday. Let's talk about slush funds this week. Oh, I'm sorry. They're not really slush funds. They're called office holder accounts. And this is just another iteration of elected officials having money at their disposal. Now, believe me, I don't think that our city council is in any way unethical or immoral. I don't think they're going to be pocketing the money, anything like that. But I do find it fascinating that they spend the time to make sure that they have enough money to do what they please. Now, we've done it in the past with what they call discretionary funds. That's when the city manager and his budget said, oh, and we'll give you some money per council district to spend any way you want. This office holder account is a little different because this money comes from private people, from people who give donations. Now, why would you give donations to an office holder account? Just out of the goodness of your heart, think about that for a minute. I don't think so. Now, listen, I understand with the new rules where they can't accept any gifts, there are times when they actually have to pay something to go to events. There are times when they want to support something with some kind of sponsorship. I agree with all of that. But there was at least one councilman that's already made it pretty clear in the debates and the discussions that he's going to be paying for expenses, his expenses, out of that office holder account. Now, I don't know if that's the way that we want to do business. I certainly have to worry about somewhere down the line donators thinking that a council member owes them. That's never a good thing. Now, there is another way. You understand that the council right now only makes $34,000 a year. They're supposed to be a part-time council. I understand that that's not a whole lot of money, although got to say a lot of people in this city don't make that much money. But those people who don't make that much money aren't expected to go to a lot of events either. There's a different way. There's a way that's been talked about a number of times in this city, and I think maybe if we think we're big enough now, we might ought to think about making our council a full-time council. Make that a real job. Give them a real salary. Forget about this office holder account stuff. Pay them what they're worth. No, wait a minute. Don't do that. Pay them a living wage. I think that might be a better way. They still have one more vote before they actually kick up the amount in their office holder accounts to $30,000 a year. Let them know what you think. Let me know what you think. Thanks.